Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're looking at another Rust base design which goes from a starter to a main base. This base can be used for solos, duos or trios and contains features such as a bunker entrance, loot spreading and a large amount of storage. Just before we start, around 87% of you watching aren't subscribed. If you do enjoy my content don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to catch all of my future uploads. I do also have a Discord channel which will be linked below for anyone wanting to join. Now, let's get into the video. Just before we get into the tour, these are all of the items inside the base. We have 3 sleeping bags, 1 campfire, 13 furnaces and your tier 3 and tier 2 workbenches, your tour cupboard, research bench and 3 shelves, 6 shotgun traps, 4 small boxes and finally 17 large boxes. All of which fits into the footprint shown here with the loot rooms highlighted in metal. Heading over to the base here we have these stairs to get up to the entrance. This is a quick and easy method which isn't very safe. For a safer entrance simply build an entrance off to the side similar to how I show here. You could repeat this on multiple sides of the base if you like to have multiple entrances. Onto the roof here we have plenty of space to add window frames and create a shooting floor should you choose to or you can expand to add an additional floor to gain more storage. Coming over to the entrance here we have a sheet double door to get inside quickly, followed by some shotgun traps and drop boxes. To progress further into the base you need to go through the sheet door which is also protected by shotgun traps. It's also blocked off by the bunker entrance which is the roof piece here. The sheet metal triangle overhanging here is intended to try and block rocket splash damage from hitting the square roof piece below the slanted roof and as you can see here it would be rather difficult for raiders to hit a good shot without taking damage. To open the bunker up simply destroy the twig floor as I show here. This will remove the stability holding the roof and cause it to drop. This can be replaced easily at any point. Once this is removed, you can gain access in and out of your base as normal by jumping up this chute here. Jumping back down here, we have an undrainable shotgun trap, which will slow raiders down, allowing counter raiders time to arrive or preventing them from progressing further with the raid. We also have another undrainable shotgun trap here, causing further issues for raiders, however this isn't as effective as the one above. On the right side of the base here we have two loot rooms, with some space in the middle filled by five furnaces and two sleeping bags. I'm sure you can make better use of the space if you choose to. The first loot room here contains five large boxes and a furnace. You can make use of Evil Versed seven box loot room here again to gain more storage. On the left side of the base here we have another two loot rooms with the space in the middle again being filled by five furnaces, a sleeping bag and a campfire. Both of the loot rooms here hold five large boxes and a furnace. And finally in this final loot room we have three small boxes, a large box, your tier 2 and 3 workbench and your unlooseable TC which is hidden behind your tier 3 workbench. Even if raiders are to locate the TC it will cost them a large amount of resources to raid into this area. To seal the bunker up, simply place a twig floor as I show here, followed by a roof piece. Upgrade the roof piece to whatever grade you like and the bunker will be sealed as you can see here. Dependent on whether you upgrade it to stone, metal or HQM, the raid cost will increase by that amount. The footprint of the base is simple, beginning with a square and two triangles for your star space before expanding out to add a loot room and then again to add two more loot rooms and the bunker entrance before finally adding your honeycomb. To break down the raid costs, this is the cost to raid direct to the TC. And then this is the cost for all of the loot. This base is going to cost you 7k metal, 5k wood and 19.5k stone, with an upkeep cost of 1.9k metal, 7 wood and 3.4k stone. A more detailed costing can be found in the comments to include deployables. 